Hello everyone, in this video we will implement stack using array. As we know stack is a data structure which follows LIFO that is last in first out method which means that the data or the element which is stored last in the stack that is the element at the top will be accessed first. And in a stack both insertion and deletion takes place at the top. Real world example of stack data structure would be a stack of dishes. Now in the previous tutorial we represented stack like this and we added a few elements on top of each other where top always represented the topmost element. Now when we logically implemented stack like this then the direction of our stack was upwards that is if we add another element it would come on top of element 3 and our stack will grow in size upwards. But when we implement a stack using array suppose we take an array of 5 elements then the direction of stack would be towards right in our logical representation that is when we are representing stack using array we will add elements from left to right. So let's add our first element and we will use a top variable for insertion deletion and accessing the element at top. So currently our variable top will be at index 0 and to add another element we will increment our top by 1 and then we can simply add the element at that position. So in this way we can represent a stack using array. Now let's look at some basic operations that we perform with stack. We will create an is empty function to check if the stack is empty or not. A push function to insert element in the stack. Pop function to delete the element from stack. And finally the show top function to display the element at top. So let's define the size of our stack as 5 using the preprocessor directive defined and what this will do is whenever we will write size in our program it will be equal to the value 5. So let's create an array of 5 elements and initially when the stack is empty the top variable has the value minus 1 and with this we can define our is empty function which returns a boolean value that is true if the stack is empty otherwise it is false. And as we know when the stack is empty top is equal to minus 1 and in this case we will return true else we will return false. Now let's see how we will insert or push an element in our stack. So let's start our push function which takes as argument an integer value that is the element to be inserted in our stack. Now to insert an element in the stack we will simply increment top by 1 and insert the element at that position. Now initially our stack is empty and if we push the first element let's say 2 then we will increment top by 1 so top will be at index 0 and we will simply insert the value 2 at this index. Similarly if we push the value 3 then again we will increment top by 1 and insert the value 3 at this index. Now using the same procedure let's insert the value 5, value 0 and the value 7. Now as we know that array has a definite size which in this case is 5. So now if we will try to push another element say 9, we cannot insert this element as our stack is full and we don't have any empty locations. So to check if our stack is full, we will use the condition top equal to size minus 1. That is when top is equal to the last index, it means that our array is full. So now let's complete our push function. So firstly we will check if top is equal to size minus 1 then we will simply print that the stack is full and we cannot insert any elements in the stack else we will increment top by 1 and we will insert the element at the index pointed by top. Now let's see how we will remove or pop an element from the stack. So let's start our pop function to remove the elements from the stack and to delete an element from the stack we will simply decrement top by 1. So if we want to remove the topmost element that is 7 we will simply decrement top by 1 and this would mean that the element at index 3 that is 0 is now the topmost element in our stack and the element 7 is no longer the part of the stack. Similarly if we again do the pop operation we will decrement top by 1 and this would remove the element 0 from the stack. Now let's remove the element 5 and the element 3. Now if we remove the last element from the stack that is 2 then our stack will be empty that is our top will be equal to minus 1 when we decrement it by 1 and if the stack is empty that is top is equal to minus 1 then we cannot perform any more pop operation. 
So taking all this into consideration, let's write our pop function. So firstly, we will check if the stack is empty or not using the isEmpty function. And if the stack is empty, we will simply print that the stack is empty and we cannot perform the pop operation. Else we will decrement top by one to remove the topmost element from the stack. Now let's implement our show top function, which will display the element at the top of the stack. So firstly, we will check if the stack is empty or not. And if the stack is empty, we will simply print that as there would be no element at the top. Else we will display the element at the top. Next, let's write a function to display our stack. For this function, again, we will check if the stack is empty or not. And if the stack is empty, we will simply say that the stack is empty. Else, we will start our for loop for i is equal to 0 to i less than equal to top. And for every value of i, we will simply print the element at i. Here is a quick look at the entire C++ program to implement stack using array, where we have the is empty, push, pop, display stack and the show top function. And inside our main function, we can perform any of these operations. I would recommend that you download the source code linked in the description for better understanding of how these functions work together in a program. So that was all for this video. Thank you for watching.